everyone! Um, it's me, Butters, uh, here with gameplay for, um, Legend of Arceus. And, uh, as you can tell, my character, my character right here, she's already dressed with the, the, uh, the downloadable content that you get when you buy the game and whatnot, but, um, yeah. Um, so, um, since I have a homebrew Twitch, I first got this around the 18th, and, um, when I got it on the 18th, I was planning to, um, hold on, my character's head is just like, she's creeping right now. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know why she's looking like that. But anyway, um, I got this on the 18th, early as heck. I was supposed to make a gameplay video, but um, I did mention on my um, other video of gameplay footage, a little bit of footage of it, that my um, OC, my VTube thing, has been having serious issues. So um, now that it's resolved, I decided to make a video uh, the game is gameplay here. Now one thing is that why, you're going to ask me, why is the saturation so up high, why does it look so, is this how the game looks like? No, the saturation is not like this. The saturation is up due to the fact that there was a recent game that I was playing called, um, uh, give me a sec, yes, yeah, oh, not, n Model Debut 2 Nicola. And, uh, sorry about that lag, uh, but I was playing that game and, um, well, the saturation on the screen, on the SysDVR client driver, was making it look so dreadfully dead, like, there was no color, like, the colors were all off, and I didn't like that, so I set it up as best as I could to match the game saturation. As of right now, I honestly like the saturation feel for the for OBS like this for the game. It honestly looks really pretty and makes everything look more alive. But um, in all honesty, this isn't how the game looks like. So please don't think that the saturation is like this. Just a fair warning. Now um, another thing, I went ahead and kept playing the game throughout the days that I was off. And yes, I actually was working. On trying to get my VTube to and my avatar to well, MMD model to freaking work on Unity. I tried looking up for help, questions, and etc. since of August to all to hear that I'm so glad it works now. And I'm very glad that V Magic Mirror got an update. Yeah, um, they, uh, the creator for V Magic Mirror decided to. I didn't inform this on the other video, but it's okay. Anyway, um, so the creator that made V Magic Mirror decided to update the program and really did a good job because my character as you can tell has more expression than before Ooh. <laughs> and I like it a lot I actually like this more than those uh, expensive fancy uh, things in which you um, you gotta spend like hundreds of dollars in like you gotta spend like hundreds of dollars in like no I, 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 I don't want to spend that much money I really don't want to spend that much money. What the heck is going on? Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't... I did... I turned off... Okay, we're transferring to our character. Okay. There you go. I didn't... Um, like... Uh, I didn't like it at all. It was very bad. Oh, you hear the little music? It's cute. I know. Also, if you're wondering why does it look so bad, the quality of the video right here, it's because I have no idea. I sadly don't know how to fix this, and it's just CCD Assist DVR client taking what it can from my USB drive, or it's probably my internet. I don't know. So I'm sorry if you guys are seeing this in crappy quality. Hopefully me messing with the uh, quality of the video with Sony Vegas Pro 17, it'll help out and make it look more better looking than this. And you can actually see my character's, <laughs> my character's structure and stuff, like deets on her face. Cause yes, she's actually pale, they got that right. The, the saturation has it right, she is pale, but she's not like super super pale, which you can't even tell it. Well. And this game's graphics is very weird. 
Like, if you choose a character that's brown or tan, like, it don't matter. It will literally not show the detail it would show in the other Pokemon games. You know the Pokemon BDSP? Well, it shows your character's uh, uh, detail, her nose, her lips, or her jawline, and all that. But in this version, it's like the painting art style kind of screws it up, and uh, it destroys the texture of resolution of the face. So it looks she looks like a chalk. Look, see. Now you can now you can see it. See, much better, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what she looks like. It's just the lighting in this is just too much. They need to tone it down. It's not because of my video saturation. I'm not kidding you. The lighting in the game itself is like that. So it's not the saturation doing all, all that extra paleness. Trust me, I, I just... I, I will not... If I wanted a pale character, I would make her into a vampire or like, I don't know, some elf chick. Or a mystical chick or something like that. But yeah, um... What else? Uh, I've gone through the game and um, I got far and stuff, and I have some criticism. Criticism I thought so far. I don't really like. Okay, this is sort of uh, something. Oh, I didn't know she can smile. This is something I sort of have to point out in the beginning. This is only my criticism for the beginning so far. I haven't really gone that far into the game like these. Uh weirdo's been doing online uh if you have don't know i my switch is homebrewed so yeah i got this game early just like the rest of them did i just didn't go all hate while i was mostly <coughs> excuse me i was mostly waiting for the game's update because the audio was bad in game the audio had some lag so i can see why they had to Enhance the experience, as they say. <laughs> Enhance the experience. You mean fix the damn quality audio, bro? Like it will, be, it will cut off. I had actual, oh, oh, I had actual gameplay footage of me um playing the game, and I experienced it firsthand. But unfortunately, I don't know why. But as I was recording, the audio lag didn't really um showcase while I record the uh, video. Like, I screen cap it. It's supposed to show it, but it didn't do that. Oh, crap, you know what I forgot? I forgot to... Oh, my freaking gosh. Dang it. Dang it, I freaking forgot. Um, uh, nope. Nope. You're gonna attack me. So, um, I completely forgot to, uh... Yes, most of the time you're gonna see a bunch of players possibly doing this to, um... <sighs> One time thing. It's like, it's helpful. I feel bad for my character because I know she's breaking bones and I'm not... Like, if you hear that... that... Right, li li listen. That must hurt like heck. Man. She must have some rough skin, bro. Some rough skin, even though she looks beautiful. Let's go! We, we. Okay. Um. So as I was saying, um, I have some major uh, criticism. It's mostly due to the fashion. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It looks horrendous. Okay. In my recent other video, I mentioned that I don't like the fact that there's now Game Freak is doing this crap in which, hold on, let me move my character, in which uh, I am a stinking mannequin. Okay, um, a stinking mannequin. What I mean is that uh, Game Freak decided to do the wokey move in which your characters clothes is all unisex so far the supposed kimono that is meant for girls listen i've looked into historical stuff from japan i i uh, was a major japan ma um, fanatic when i was a kid and all the way up to my growing up i learned some knowledge about them and nowhere have i ever seen 
a character, a female girl, even in this idol time, and like really, to, to be honest, even if it's not based off history still, it's fictional, you could have given us kimonos. No, instead they give us the same outfit the guys wear. Not joshing here, I will show you in a minute, just give me a second because I'm trying to um, fix my satchel. My satchel completely. Give me a second. Let me move myself back to where my position is at. What's that? Okay, there we go. update my stories but I guess you can't do it yet. Oh shoot. I didn't know she can do that. I like that. Ah oh, dang it. I'm gonna have to talk to him. Okay. Y yeah, sure why not. Yeah, those are the Pokemon that I catch with football. Oh, money. Hooray. I have to admit, getting money in this game is a bit, tad bit difficult. Oh, I completed the Pokedex? Wow, that was easy. That was honestly easy because... See, see those, um... You, you see those red marking lines right, right, right there? Right here? The red stuff right there? I'm supposed to check mark all of them, but it looks like I've completed it all. It, it gets to a point that it seems so easy, but it's honestly not. I'm not kidding you. It gets a bit difficult because look, see, 20, I still got this gray area right here, but I guess the game just like, yeah, well, you completed it because you did a lot of work. Kind of defeats the purpose of doing everything, but uh, I'll still do it. I mean, like, I still try to, like, uh, check everything out and stuff. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. Because I don't want to move up um, to the right. Uh, return to the village. It's just to prove a point here, okay? And then I'll go back to out of the village and do what I have to do. Okay. So I go to her. And I talk to her. So, by clothing. Why Lily? Why am I wearing his cap? By the way, some interesting fact, some some facts up for you all. Oh, oof! My gosh, it's the dang lighting in this game. Uh, unfortunately, it looks cloudy. I know. Um, but if fun fact, those types of hats were worn for men back in the day in the Edo time, in basically in Europe. European males would wear that, especially the kids. They would wear that, boys. Why isn't there anything for a girl that it replaces this? Wh why am I wearing a dude's freaking cap that's back in the 18th century of London? Since you want to go, go Edel time, let me just criticize it. This is not what a girl would wear in Edel time at all. I, I, she would wear a pin, a pin, a, a flower at least, or just nothing. It's when I'm um, be honest, you, you want to go in there historically, historically vision. If you're poor, you will now have no pin or nothing. The hair would look like a mess, and they would wear um, kimonos that were usually dirty, and it would be very difficult around that time. I'm not kidding you, it's it's horrendously bad. But since this is fictional, I still want to point it out that this is not cute, this is ugly. I don't want to be seen wearing a stinking thing because you Game Freak decided to just boast that oh look we're going unisex for the for 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 the uh, abc.org community. If you're going to get upset over me saying it that way then um sorry but YouTube is going to censor me even if I am a tiny channel or any or a big channel to be exact. 
So, uh, yeah, uh, them catering to a minority is not a good idea. This is ugly. I can't wait for, um, for Marge to fix, fix this. Hopefully they do. Or, or not. I mean, like, if they just put, put different outfits, I'll be fine with that. Um, then, um, I'm not saying that the cap isn't ugly. I mean, is ugly or anything like that. I'm saying the cap looks nice, but it looks nice on the dude, not the girl. And don't, I know, I get the feeling you're gonna also say, Oh, well, those caps are now worn by women um, now these days. Well, yeah, that's modern time. <laughs> Honey, I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking about Edo Japan. They wouldn't wear this. At all. Okay? Okay. The woven hat, I like it. This is cute. That's nice. The headbands, I don't really care for it. But this is what I mean. It's an everyday kimono, right? So you would assume that the bottom has to be, like, a, the kimono's part. You know, the, the long edge, the, the bottom part, skirt for girls. This is what Game Freak decided to do. This pissed me off so- not pissed me off, but this- no, no, this upset me. Why am I wearing a guy's freaking bottom part of a kimono? By the way, men would not wear- kimonos are meant for females. Why am I wearing a trouser? The top is a kimono, the bottom is a trouser, what the hell is this a that's freaking tragedy? What the hell is this? I didn't know I was a dude. This is what a guy would wear back in the in the old time. In this time, in this timeline, it would fit them. It would look great. They would look handsome. You know, they would look great with it. But no, the female trainers are forced to wear this garbage. Again, I'm aiming at the female trainers. Female only. I'm not talking about the guys. The guys would look fine. This is fun for good dudes. Stop. This is ugly as heck. I don't want to wear this. Where's the bottom part for the kimono? Why is it just the for the part the first part of kimono and then the bottom not kim the rest of it is not a kimono? That's just this gross, bro. Fashion style is just wrong. That's like giving us the cheap way. You're like, oh well, we couldn't finish the kimono, but here you go, some pants because we're we're sure are getting our woke brownies doing this. And I thought that I would get the kimono, you know. No, why am I wearing karate? Well, what? Why? Th this is a dude's garment. You could have given the female garment something else. I don't know, something like a... Like what I'm wearing. Could have done this. Could have grabbed this design or made her uh, like a skirt or a... Uh, like loose pants. Like a cute loose pants. Look at Kikyo from Inuyasha. Could have done that. Could have given us that as the, uh, as the whole thing. No. We wear karate key because that makes freaking sense. Dude, this reminds me of Edel Time Goku. <laughs> Even though I'm ranting, uh, this really reminds me of Goku. So yeah, those are the- this is hectic. This was- I'm not a freaking mannequin. I'm a girl. I have boobs. I have a artery. I have downstairs a butterfly. Goodness sakes. It's ridiculous that people now these days have to point out the major drawback of doing this type of stunt. My gosh. You could have, you know what? You could have had skirts to kimono skirt. Like trousers, skirt. Skirt at the bottom. Could have had it right there, that way it could have been the bottom of the kimono. There, simple as that. You did not need to replace the entire freaking row with just pants, bro. Because, okay, because that right there shows me, because that right there tells me that you didn't do this, like, because you wanted to. You did this to please a minority. You want to know why I know that? Because Game Freak, around the time the BLM and the Cobb and all that Twitter nonsense drama was occurring, that horrible, that horrible, uh, freaking, uh, um, I forgot what the heck is it called. Uh, 
basically a uh, terrorist terrorism attack that were ha that was happening around the streets with the whole rioting and stuff. Um, Game Freak had the audacity to sit down there and join in, and they said that they stand for the BLM for the injustice and whatnot. Once I saw them do this, I was like, heck no. I know they're going to be messing with the games. Because once you step into that territory, and Nintendo has done it too, and their website, they include diversity. What? Bro, why is there diversity on your description now? It was never there on Nintendo for crap. Because Nintendo didn't care. The, the company itself didn't care who you they were hiring as long as they did their job i mean like they did care for the background you know why not they're not thieves and you know all of that stuff they just didn't care for diversity or anything like that because it was just unnecessary those who focus on skin tone nationality are the real prejudiced people that are obsessed with that crap a bunch of weirdos need to calm the heck down man like really so that was around that time. I'm talking about the, around the time they needed to chill. They needed to chill the heck down. So when Game Freak did that, I was like, yeah, no. Even Nintendo was doing it too. That's when I was like, you should have just shut up and just freaking didn't say nothing. Because of that, the Nintendo, I think, I believe it was. Yeah, the Nintendo in New York City got robbed and mugged because of you idiots literally boasting about, oh, we support the BLM. Yeah, go, uh, yeah, look what happened to your store. D was that worth it? Was that really honestly worth it, y'all? Really, sit down there and tell me. Was a robbery worth <laughs> Those brownie points. Look what happened. <laughs> Seriously, look what freaking happened. It transpired and I'm laughing so <laughs> Because they're idiots. So... That was a major oopsie Nintendo did. And I'm upset. I'm really... That really... It makes me frustrated at Nintendo. Because of them doing that, i seen how bad it has gotten all the way up to now that I don't really necessarily trust Nintendo. BDSP was literally the thing that um get um made me realize that yeah okay see oh yeah you can first person view in this game uh why the heck is she wearing a cute top a kimono top look how easy it is i could have had that don't give me the excuse oh the kimono will break apart when she's literally rolling no have you seen anime games before in which they defy logic they defy all logic there was no realism in this game. There shouldn't be any realism. At all. Why? But, uh, I continue on. When BDSP came out and they decided to uh, add the, um, the no, um, no, basically the, the answer they always give you for 25 to, I think, 25 years? 25 to 26 years are you a boy or a girl when they removed that I was like yep and they hopped on that train real quickly boy they hopped on it real quick now their games are gonna be woke and with this character with this game Legend of Arceus look what happened that's part of some of the fashion and what I saw so far oh also the hair oh wait no no you didn't you you think I'm I was gonna skip the hair heck no this needs to be talked about, because I'm sick and tired of people literally sitting down there and ignoring the fact of what's happening to gaming. Like, you guys, don't ignore this. Talk about it. Don't be afraid. It's not going to kill you. If you, if you want to talk about it, it's your opinion. Freedom of opinion. Just don't be, like, really, the, the, like, I don't even have to tell you this, but th today's society, people are just drop dead, just, Wow. Um, wait, how much money do we got? 6,000. Gosh, that was a lot of money. Ugh. The prices. Um, but, free, uh, you can talk, but I have to literally spe uh, make this clear. 
No, do not, nor will I ever advocate for people to disrespect other people just because of their likings. Don't stoop to that low. But if their actions are stupid, then you just literally talk about their actions. Like Nintendo, I talk about their actions. Their actions just should have shut it and it just should have never did that because they got robbed badly. They lost money. Uh, so you see this hairstyle? It looks really freaking cute. I love this hairstyle so damn much. It's my favorite. So, this is what I mean. Why am I wearing a guy's haircut? Like a little boy's haircut? I kid you not. Look at little boy anime little boy haircuts. This is a little boy's haircut. Oh, you thought it was worse? Then you got Don's uh, hair. I still think that this is Don's knees. Like future knees. What the f*** is this? Why do I look like I got out, out of the asylum and they sh they literally shaved my entire hair off? Like, I just escaped the asylum and I ripped off my straight jacket and just legit went nuts. This is what I see. Then the braids, this is cute. I, I really do like this. This is really cute. I like the braids a lot. Honestly, I would have liked it if they were loose. But this is cute. I have no problem with that. But this, no. And this, no. No. I seen cuter hairstyles than this. What the f is this? It's like a woman going through military in Japan in which they force to shave their hair off. The hair off. While they cry. And this is the haircut they gave them. That's like a trauma for anyone that loves hair, uh, for, that loves their hair. It's just a tragedy at this point. Um, so I'm just gonna confirm this because I'm not spending any money. Actually, I guess I could change my. Um, I like the chestnut. This is um basically Minnie's hair. This looks ugly. Okay, um, first of all, it looks like neon yellow on there, but it's not neon yellow. And chestnut, it's not like that, but it's a bit, like a wine. Like, you're getting almost ready to that good wine, but it's not good. Kind of color on the switch. And then the slate does not look like that on the screen right there. It looks uh, darker. Kind of like a dark blue. Gold does not look like this. White... White does not look like this, but honestly, i rather take this white than the white that I see at the bottom of the screen. I don't know. They both look fine. And black... Well, black looks like that. <laughs> I don't know. Should I choose a chestnut? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go wild. I never had chestnut hair. I'll keep my black... Black um, eyebrows. So yeah, um, those are my two grips with this game. That really upset me. I look weird. It's like I grabbed the TDA model and didn't color the eyebrows. and just left it. Now, shall I fetch your hat for you to wear? Oh, he's so sweet. Aww. So... As to my two criticisms that I have to play the game, more like a rant. I'm very sorry if I saw like I went overboard. No, no, I didn't go overboard. Heck no! What am I saying? Oh no, I'm going soft. <laughs> nah, but um, seriously, it's just I'm frustrated with this. I'm sick and tired of this garbage being pushed onto my games. I'm not a mannequin, okay? But um, yeah. The other second thing that I find the only second criticism that I got for the game so far, mm, I found out on Twitter <laughs> from Matthew, a uh, the one who created Atmosphere for Switch. He found out through data mines that uh, you see this entire map, everything, all the assets. It's literally copied off of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Shocking, I know. But I'm not surprised. Like, 
I was being sarcastic, okay? It's not shocking. It's it's it, it's it's really not surprising. It's Game Freak. So it's basically a copy of um, the Pokemon Sun Shield completely. But um, I don't really like the fact that the environment. Um, the one that uh, Switch Force him. Go to his channel and go to his video about um, uh, Pokemon. About Pokemon being um, from 1999. He explains uh, what the core issue is with this uh, with this game. Gosh, I sound like I'm advertising, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to remember stuff. Um, he explains uh, that he found out from a Twitter user thread that someone mentioned that the environment of of this game this looks so bad compared to games from 1999 i'm not kidding you this guy posted up a video me a picture of a 1999 game and my gosh everything looks like a painting it looks so pretty i'm not kidding you and it's not for um the guy's not trying to get views and tweets and likes from what i can tell from what switch force uploaded up uh, basically, he's just showing you that game for got lazy. Especially when you're wasting fifty dollars and you wanna you want a game that's uh, immersed on the environment. You want it to be alive. This does not look like this in in, in the game. I'm not kidding you. Wow, saturation really fixes the colors. I mean, the colors on this game, now that I look at it, it looks extremely dull and it's like they ripped the colors out and they didn't bother to like add some. Like, I get it, it's just a new greedy, but it just doesn't look that good. But yeah, that that's that's the second um, criticism I got. Those are the only two criticisms I got. There hasn't been any new criticism that I have with the game yet. Freaking heck, man. Sorry. Um, that I have yet um, at the game. So far, it's been... Um, finally. <laughs> Was that a lag? Holy crap. It is a lag. Yeah, the game's been lagging. I don't know why. Out of the blue, it just tends to lag. I'm being serious. It's not me just messing with it. It's not just this DVR. It's just... The game just lags at times when I catch a... Um, um, let's do this. So what have I learned so far about this game? Well, about those two main criticisms that I got with this game. I already captured him. But I really should catch him more. Oh, flying cat moves. Nice. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that noise? Oh! Come on, bro! Come at me! Come at me! Uh, uh, so, here are the things that I actually adore of this game. Watch. You see that? You see that? And look, look, he even moves as I'm too close to him. I'm not kidding you. He literally moves if I'm too close to him. It is the most cutest thing ever. Because he just doesn't want to hurt me. And then look at that. Oh no! I was gonna like show you guys. Um, what is it? Wait, he just chest obeys? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so that's what I couldn't pick up. Okay. Um, but you saw how the movement of the battle was. It was so heated that your character was literally in it. That That's the thing that a lot of players that I've noticed on Reddit, on uh, videos, that they've wanted so badly out of Game Freak, in which your character feels immersed like your character is alive i mean i don't really mind pokemon diamond the original ds and all that i love that formula and i like that gameplay but this this just takes it a whole new level i just love it i love that that was a good thing for them to do and your character look you see that you see her sandals look at that look at the detail her literal ankle her feet are going up through her sandals that's detail. I love this. This makes me a happy gamer. 
Though, still, they really gotta work on them clothes. I know they can do better. Look at Pokemon freaking DX on the mobile. Oh, their outfits look cute. Especially, um, Dawn's and Serena. Ugh, I hate that character. I mean, anime-wise, I don't like her character, but in game, she's okay. I mean, like, she is zero. She's a freaking cool character. Another thing. I like this. It tells me if I, um, number defeated. Okay, so I gotta fight her. Oh, I like this, too. This is cute. Look, she even has expression when she talks to her little buddy. Look. She's not happy. I do kind of... One thing... Oh, whoa, what the heck was that? Hopefully that is not the game. But the one thing I miss... Aw, oh, man. Look at that battle. Look at me. I'm, like, literally far away. Oh my gosh, it, it, it ends the battle from far away. That is so cool. I didn't know this. Okay, so I gotta fight him. Oh, I'm so sorry. He died. I feel so bad for him. But, um... What was I talking about? I completely forgot. Holy cow. Oh, man. Okay, um. I was reading about the other things. Oh, yeah. Another thing about the, uh, the game. Oh, can evolve. Wait. My Pokemon can evolve? This is how you evolve. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. You can have. So it's by choice if you want them to evolve. Oh. Oh yeah. You know what I found very weird in this game, just like uh, from the data mines, they found out that the the Pokemon's appearing. It's kind of like a randomizer loot box. A loot. Eh, kind of like a slot machine, in which the. Pokemons are like the mons, they just appear randomly. So it's good and bad at the same time. And the, here's why it's bad. It's because of the fact that when you're randomized, you can get a Pokemon that's too higher level and can kill you. And randomized also means that um, you can also miss opportunities on Pokemon that you want to really get. Like uh, Eevee. I tried getting Eevee again, and she just dis he, he or she disappeared out of plain sight. I did not find Eevee again, unfortunately. Eevee just vanished. It just booked. Booked on me, bro. So that was uh, the crappy part about it. And I was like, oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Why did you do that to me? Why? So... That's the issue with the randomizer. It's not as bad as series, but it's nice. That I kind of like it, but at the same time, I don't know. Uh, also, I like this. I believe, yeah. Remember how Pokemon Sword and Shield had the part in which you just go to the tall grass and do like this, very gently, and then try to catch your finger. I hide because when they get out, it just. I need to make them think that I'm not here. See, I'm a part of the. The no, no, no. You didn't spot me. You didn't spot me for crap, bro. The no, no, no. The no, no, no. I hate you. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. He legit doesn't notice me. This is so cute. Aha! So yeah, I kind of got good at this. The whole capturing? It's pretty easy. It's not difficult. It's really easy. You don't really need to uh, do, do this whole thing. In which, um, you know how... This, I don't really need to do it. I got used to, um, used to just capturing it without it. The target. Ah! 
What about the auto lock? Um, what, what are the other good things about it? I already talked about um, some of it. And, um... What is he doing? Oh, it's a boy, yeah. It's a level 8. Oh, so that's how you switch faster. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. I just not realized that you can switch them on to say. So I don't really need to play Pokemon or anything like that. If you want to switch your mods quickly, just press the uh, ZR button. Holy crap, I am going to get wrecked. Yeah. But the one thing that I freaking love is the fact that I can freaking move. Move around. And you can even move in front of the bombs that your, ki your cutie patootie is kicking the butt of. In front of it. And the way they react to you moving in front of them is normal. They don't really... Um, react in the bad way, they just kind of stare at you. Whee! Um, what else is another detail thing that I love about this game is the fact that, um, when you roll down a ginomous cliff, like, I mean, a higher cliff than I did, your character would take damage. I didn't notice that, because you know how in Pokemon entries, you just fall down and nothing really happens, and you're just like, eh, fine. No, this you you take damage, you will you will get wrecked. Faint. I don't call fainting in this game. Fainting is just you dying. You got wrecked, basically. Ah. Oh, no, no. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna evolve them yet because I don't know. I feel like I should. What else? The fact that when I'm fighting Pokemons, it, they, I like the detail in the Pokemons. If you move around them, they get scared and they run away. They literally book. I'm not kidding. You. They will book. That's something interesting that Sword and Shield did not have. I'm comparing this to Sword and Shield because this is basically the successor of Sword and Shield from the looks of it. Like something done right but an adult. They had to choose adult time. <laughs> Let's see. He runs away. Oh no! Come here, you cutie patootie! I wonder what this ugly is that. Oh, it's just lagging. Oh no! He ran away. He's so cute. So, I like that. That the Pokemons react to you and whatnot. They run away and stuff. I like that detail. I actually do. I like this too. I love it so darn much. You can finally choose whichever Pokemon you want to take out to do this, uh, to do, to, to, to take the berries. I remember a Poketuber was talking about it and they were so, they were like, when are they gonna do it? Like, they should have really implemented that. And they did. I am very glad. Uh, quick attack. Yeah, if you notice, um, yeah, see? You see how immersed it was? It was so immersed that my butt is gonna die. Um. I'm gonna go illegal. Good. This game really surprised me when the, the mons started to like literally take me really like he walks away. I don't know, I kind of feel bad because it makes me feel like they don't want to be near me. But now that I look at it, I can understand why they would get away from me. Oh, he looks at me. Why would he get away from me when like he doesn't want his master to like get her butt kicked? Like physically hurt. The thing that other that also made me happy was this. Look at them. They didn't go. Look at them. Yeah, look. Look, look. See? I like the fact that I have to roll away and... Woo, look at little bitch! Oh! I'm gonna have to censor that. Ah! No, leave me alone! Oh, and if you're wondering... Oh, uh, wait, what? Oh, that's a black tumble soap. Hey no, I need a black tumble stone. Uh-uh. I need that. Thank you. Good. 
I need it then. But, um, I like the fact that I can, um, run away and, um, it just, they just literally react. What in the world is that? React to it. I also love the fact that there's sound effects on the grass so I can hear the, the tapping of my sandals. Um, what else do I love about this game? The, um, fact that I can, um, fi um, when I'm in front of Pokemon's mounts that don't usually attack you. They just chill. They just literally stare at you. And yes, that thing is still up there. It's so creepy. Wee! Above battle, battle-wise, yes, yeah, these are, di they're very difficult. They really do act like deers. They run away real too easily. And I'm like, bro, I'm just trying to capture you, please. I just want to be your friend. You're so cute. Yeah. What level is it? I can kiss his ass. Bro, let's fight. Come at me. Look at him. He looks so cute. Start for you, star of us. Oh, crap. Shanks is about to die. So, I like the detailness in this game. That's all I gotta say because right now I'm just so focused on this game. Okay. Oh yeah, he has no problem hurting me. And the fact that when your when your mon attacks, like let's say I wanna do this, this is how strong it is. It's so strong that it it makes me fall. I like that. I don't need to catch you because you're just an evolution of a character of a mom that I already got. So dang. Oh yeah, speaking of detailness, now that I'm here, I wonder if my if I can even show it to you guys. What what was that? You heard that, right? Okay, so, you see the water? So I found a trick. I'm pretty sure some players did. I don't know. I don't know how many people uploaded the gameplay for this game. I don't know. I'm really new on this. Oh yeah, um, just a heads up. Okay. You guys can't see it. But my character's already wet. Her body's completely wet. They added the um, an effect in which the characters get wet if they run too much on the water. And yes, you can finally run on puddles. Hooray! Now that's out of the way, let's just go get out of the thing. You know, that was a nice feature. And you staying wet doesn't last that long, but it lasts relatively okay. So I'm going to show you guys something cool. Something wonderful. Something so darn cool that it's going to make you go. <gasps> like, you're, you're just going to be like, <gasps> oh my gosh. Like, <gasps> oh my gosh. It's something <laughs> that I found out. So... Oh, no, I'm not doing that like that. No, I'm gonna just die. So, remember how in games, in the game, they made it very clear that your, well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Your uh, character can't swim. Well, remember how there's restrictions and you can't really go onto the water? This is for people who don't know yet, but look what happens. I also found a workaway around it, but it's only a little bit. But look, look what happens. <laughs> Yo, <sighs> see, I'm swimming, right? Look what happens. Oh! <gasps> and that's what happens. Isn't it great? I drown. I freaking drown. 
I have no idea why Game Freak decided that you, your character just cannot swim for crap even though she can. See, I can't go that much deeper, but you know. As long as it's like where you can just go on the ground, you can do it. See? Just like that. That's how much it is. But if she stays too much on that area, on the specific area, even though she's hitting the ground, she's like literally on the ground, she will drown. I'm not kidding you. I had my character drown. Like literally die. While she was... Uh, I was like... A that was a Felicia moment. I'm like, Felicia, you know dang well you can swim in the damn freaking ocean. It's, it's like, it's not that bad. It's, talking from a person from experience... That's my first shiny. That's a shiny whirlpool. Yo, it's an actual shiny whirlpool. Oh my freaking gosh, it's an actual shiny whirlpool. It's an actual shiny whirlpool. I've never seen one before. I never caught a shiny in my entire life before playing Pokemon. Not gonna lie. Mostly I got them through uh through trading. But me getting a shiny Wampo? Huh. So me getting a shiny Wampo is like it's like something just wow, I'm I'm really surprised. And I got a shiny whirlpool. <laughs> my little first, my first specimen that's a shiny in a game like this. Holy crap! I'm so freaking happy. I'm so 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 happy. Okay, I got the little guy. In my um. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah, yeah. I've been playing. It. Oh, I'm in it. It's not that bad. Wow, it's uh, lagging. I don't know what's lagging to be honest with you all. Sister and DVR just works very differently. I like how it's separated. That's nice. It's telling me how many Pokemons are there. Meaning there's not that much. Which is gonna be disappointing. Beetle Cave, huh? Yeah, I've never seen Beetle's evolution. Like, come on, look at him. He's so cute. Oh, it's a girl, but... I always thought Beetle was a girl. Nature girl. But let's evolve the little guy. Let's see. This is my first time seeing it. What's everyone? Oh, it's kind of like a ninja. You know, honestly, we could have had ninja outfits. I'm not gonna lie. It would be so dope if we had ninja outfits. Like a female ninja armor. Just like what the hell? What in the world are you? Bi Bibral? Bibral? Is this his actual form? Little. Well, wow, he, uh. Jeez, he looks, uh. He creeps me out a bit. Not gonna lie, he. A, a little bit, he kinda creeps me out. But he looks okay. Oh man, Shinix. I seen Shinix Evolution, unfortunately. Because of the stupid randomizer, they didn't put the. Oh, now I get it. Now I'm understanding why the randomizer can also be bad. It's because of the fact that it can show you evolutions of the mods that you don't want to see yet. And that's not good. Like, I don't want to see the evolution of St uh, my Burbo or Shinix or or Flo Floaty if, if they. If... if it has one. Does Floaty have an evolution? I don't think so. I know Aqua does. I already seen Aquas. Doritos, I seen Doritos. Don't question what my folk, my mom's names are or that. Okay, let's accept it. Oh, he's level fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Um. Floaty, um. There we go. 
What the heck? I like that. The features of the of the water. That that was freaking. Just I, it's sad that I can't roll on the water though. It would be nice. It would be nice if we had poses too. But you know. Oh, if you guys were wondering. I wonder if I can fight him. Hi, boy. Who's, who's? Do you know what? Just don't think I'm here. Just don't don't notice me. Please do not notice me. I do not want to die. No, do not notice me. I was screaming like a little girl last time they saw me. So if you guys were wondering, um, something uh, just for a useful tip for anyone who gets this game. Um, so another thing that I found out is that. You can actually summon two Pokemons at the same time when um, you're collecting for um, you're collecting for uh, what's the wrong with them? You're collecting a uh, oh, there's an Eevee. Eevee, Eevee, please don't run away, Eevee. I just want to be your friend. Eevee, why do you run away so quickly? Why, Eevee? I just want to love you. I'm gonna throw up a little cutie. So, um, you can actually summon two mons at the same time while you're doing something. Like, let's say there was a tree right there, you just summon one mon and summon another one right there. They'll do the double the work. It's pretty cool. Again, I don't have my ride, y'all, so I can't run. But still, I actually like this. I have no problem with me not having a ride, to be honest. I actually like it rushing, like walking around my the cutie kitty. Oh, the thing that I actually fell in love with is how the villagers reacted towards me. I'm not gonna lie. They reacted so dang bad. <laughs> like, they hated, like, they were like, your, your character just starts to walk in, and you know, you, you see someone that's unfamiliar, especially wearing what I was wearing, boot shorts and sandals and a shirt that looked the ugliest heck that was advertised in Game Freak a lot. Um I guess they're a new game or something. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, okay, but I'm just making it funny. So. No joke right now. But um when they first saw you in the village, they they were just these two elderly men were roasting the crap out of my character. And then um I think his name is Ryu, 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 what, whatever his darn name is. Um, he actually roasts you. He's like, what kind of freaking, he literally, I'm not kidding you, this dude legit roasts you. I can just play the game again. But then again, people already must have found images of how harsh they, the, man. Especially that, El, that your, your chief, the female chief. She, not chief, you know, chief. The commander, like the 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 squad lady, she is such a b word, man. I'm not kidding you. In the beginning, she's so rude. Like they're so serious in this version. It's so different compared to uh, the other Pokemon franchises and everything is about friendship and one that's aimed at kids. But the text dialogue for this game is um, it's different. It's kind of a a little bit mature. I would say. Because, um, telling a fifth. Yeah, I found out that your character was aging here. Thankfully, for the first time, your character is actually 15, and I have. No, no, I'm not gonna quit. No, nope, I'm not gonna do it. Oh man, Alpha, I'm so sorry. You're getting ganged up. Alpha, I don't wanna go. Sorry about that. I have to fix my. <laughs> But this is new too. I actually like it. I guess this is kind of like Mega Evolution or something like that. Or, um, uh, what was X and Y and C? No, a Lowland version in which they have to dance. Are they having a conversation? Oh, so that's not the color of my, um, uh, Ponyata. Uh, Dorito does not look like that color. Dorito is like a beautiful yellow honey. Well, it's time for, uh, 
Oh, well, it could be his thing. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that thing looked like a rat. I'm sorry. I'm such a terrible person, but she scared me. Little. Good, but. Oh. At least he's doing me fast. Ah! Just. Oh, man. Water close, but. Whoa! That's pretty! Good job! Grow a lot, bro! Show them how to. Ooh! How about that? Oh, they're weak against water, I forgot. Because rock is kinda. is basically mud. Muddy. Uh, yeah. Rock is kinda mud, blah blah blah, you get this. Come on, buddy. Go! I love how the move portrays itself. It's so pretty. But seriously, I really want a Monster Hunter-like ninja outfit. You know the ninja outfit that we, uh, that, uh, you get in Monster Hunter Rise? What? What in the world? Monster Hunter Rise? I would love to have that in my, um, in this game right here. Eh, except, yeah, but don't make it, like, um, well, we already know the Monster Hunter characters are, like, adults and stuff. Like, they're already, like, physically grown. Except for Monster Hunter Story. Monster Hunter Story is right off the bat tells you that you're a kid. But the fact that you're 15 in here, honestly, I am astonished that I finally aged up after like, playing this game. I've been playing Pokemon since the DS. I started to, I first played it the DS. I would play the game, I would have played the Game Boy version, but um, I wasn't into RPG. It's. Uh, it was actually a dark time for me. Dark. Me without RPG was just awful. Um, but I started to play metal with it, and the first game that I ever finished with Pokemon was Pokemon uh, X and Y. The reason why I didn't finish my first Pokemon DS games is because of the fact. Oh my legs are under. Uh, is because of the fact that I was so focused on other games that it was overwhelming for me. But now that. The, I have the Switch, it's honestly not overwhelming anymore. I can play the games like right off the bat so easily. Anyway, let me see what the heck this chick wants. Also, she was such a narcissist towards me. Like, no joke. Oh, so even uh, you, so, even your professor is doing this. Wait, what? Look and run. Honestly, without him, I would have died. I'm not kidding you. That old bat that looks like an eyebrowless freaking troll character from the 90s was fine with me literally going in the wild, sending me to capture Pokemons that logically could have attacked me and killed me. She literally emphasizes, as th yes, in the Pokemon game, this is the very first time, uh, they emphasize that you will die. Uh, apart from the manga, we don't, don't talk about the manga, it creeps me the hell out. Um, but they will, you, they tell you that you will die in the field. And I'm like, wow, that got dark real quick. Phew, thank goodness, I got here in time. But thanks to him, he helped me out. He gave me a mon, he gave me the necessary things, and the, 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 the thing of, of a supposed whammon, um, she gave me the speech talk, and she was very nice at the very end. Like... I can you stop with the sundry trait? I, I don't know. But, yeah. He says, as a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. How could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. I understand why she would say that. I actually like her outfit, too. This is the D track height. This is where I'm. Come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon, a Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by an almighty Sinoa. I just want to ask you all, uh, if you guys get into this part of the video, I just want to ask you, um, is Arceus the creator of humanity as well? Yeah, because 
Mai over here is telling me in one of the texts she says she makes it seem like she created like Arceus, which is the Almighty Sinoa. I'm pretty sure I'm obviously sure that Almighty Sinoa is just Arceus. Uh is uh implying that the he created the Mons and the humanity, which doesn't make no damn sense. Because it's illogical. He's a man himself. Why would he create humans when he doesn't even know what a human would look like? Or or essentially, you know, that. It just doesn't make no sense. So, I just want to know what did she mean by that. If you guys didn't catch her my... Because I am super confused. And um, I was talking to it with my bro. And uh, he was just like... He even found it to be stupid too. Oh, man. What the hell? That's not it. That's only a troublemaker to disturb the peace with its racket. Oh, it's a bug type Pokemon with a mustache. Look at And that's what you're here for. You're here for, Buttercup, to drive the interpeller from this place. I'm sure you your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Thank you, because I forgot to actually heal my Pokemon and revive them. Upon my word. What a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they are all, if they are all oversized as this one. Exactly, they're not only big though. But they are strong and may not m may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you nevertheless. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go now. It that. Beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Buttercup. Size is opponent weapon in in and of itself no doubt that this alpha is a powerful and hardly hardy foe if you must face it make sure your pokemon have some strong moves as the other disposal yeah i know i already know that thank you for telling me though um shinix i'm not gonna involve you i have to do it So yeah, I would love to see a ninja outfit in my character. A kimono ninja outfit, that would be so cute. Like, imagine the possibility. Look at him! His majestic fur! Yes. <laughs> I didn't see the front of it! Look, yo! Look at him, he's so fluffy! He looks like a fur ball. I just want to pet his little mane. He looks like a lion. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, Burbo. Oh, I love Burbo. Hi, Lola. Oh my God. <clears throat> um, first of all, let's do this. I hope it's not that dear Pokemon that she's saying that's almighty. The Rito attack. Press Y button during battle to check the action order of all the. Yeah, I already know that. I kind of figured. It's like playing uh, one of our RPGs for the DS. I forgot what it's called. Wait, um, it's a. It's kind of like a Egyptian type thing. Egyptian, Egyptian type game. Good job, Dorito. Dorito, you're gonna die. This is where. Love to come back. Don't worry, Dorito. You do, you're doing great, too. It would be nice if the one thing... Ooh. Sorry about that. Um, the one thing that really upset me is that um, your Pokemons don't walk with you. Yeah, they don't walk side by side with you in this one. At all. Look at them. Wait, is that a boy or girl? Could I have captured that Pokemon? Holy crap, I didn't know. Can I actually capture it? I don't think I can. At least my Pokemon's leveled up. You really are impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of all. What the hell are you talking about, buddy? We best make sure your Pokemon are taken care of facing off against such a foe. Thank you. Luxie, you did a great job. Wait. What? What? What in the world? Are you kidding me? 
Really? It's the great rider deer. Look at him. Guys, look at the fur ball. Look at the fur ball. I want to touch his beard. It looks like a beard. Look, he looks like a new dooly old man, y'all. He looks so cute. He looks upon you with kindness, buttercup. I want to fluff him. Uh. It's, I'd say the great warrior deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expenses, expanses of Hisui, Hisoi while be, bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly astounding stuff. A Pokemon on its own. Write it on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of a lo Are you seriously freaking referencing Alola in this damn game? Leventon, what the hell are you talking about? Do not tell me that. Yo, um, don't tell me the storyline is literally this. That wouldn't make no damn sense, darn sense, though. Y'all, I don't know what the heck to even do here. This is just, wow. Professor, I take it things went smoothly. Oh, there's Ray. I like his expressions. And his personality. I'm hearing Captain Sillen's orders. She said we'd be able to step uh, to set up a base camp here once Buttercup took care of the past. Oh, about that. I know this was just was a joint decision by Adam Adam Man and the commander, but still, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by the almighty Suena for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use his land. The Great Rider has taken a liking to Buttercup as well. That is a good sign. Oh. You may. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my Christian with proper words as soon as I can. Aww. She's so sweet now. She's very um, straightforward. Not straightforward in the sense like, um, she's just, yeah, straightforward. I can say like a, a rock. She's kind of like a rock, a sharp edge. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to know them better. And the first step to uh, toward that is completing the Pokedex. You know, Arceus kind of just like, he just slams you on the beach and just leaves you. I was like the child. He abandoned me. The construction corps should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in in no time. Okay, I should really stop playing right now because, um, wow, um, wow, uh, I need to, um, I need to really eat dinner. <laughs> but yeah. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. Deer Track Heights. Here we have it, our base camp, I'm going to call it Heights Camp. Such an original name, like I said. For now on, when you set off from the village, you can t ask to be escorted to the space camp to set out your ex exorcisions directly from here. Exorcisions? Having more base camps ought to make our survey more, look easier, huh? Yeah, sure. Well, that's, uh, that's that. How about we head to the wildfire, uh, like usual? Shiny, so shiny, I got a shiny Pokemon. Okay, 997, even though I busted my butt. Okay, um. Well, um, that is it for gameplay. I know I was rambling on criticism and the uh, ranting. But I have to go and eat dinner because it's extremely late where I live at and I'm recording this extremely late. Um, if you guys want to see more gameplay video of this, more gameplay video of me playing this game and talking and whatnot, just tell me. Comment down below um, if you have any criticism how I made the video or anything like that or any tips or anything. Just, just tell me please. I'll be happy to hear them out. To read them out actually. Um, hit like and subscribe. If you want to dislike the video, go right ahead. It's your choice. You'll know your opinion. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. 
as long as you've watched the video at least. Uh, that is all for me. Now, um, I'll see you guys whenever. Bye. <laughs> God bless you all too.